Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be opening this adorable Squishmallow tin which I finally found the little Bigfoot monster that I call them and I just had to get this. Oddly enough I actually won this from Dave and Buster's. <laughs> so they have some blind bags, they have Funko Pops, and now they have Squishmallows. So it's a good time. We we had some points on our card anyway. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, it is just meant to be. And I've never opened Squishmallow trading cards. So we'll see what they're like. And you get one exclusive pin, which I really hope is of her. So we shall see. And usually I've seen these for, I think they're either $19.99 or $24.99 at Target. So, um, and I've never found her or else I probably would have bought her regularly. <laughs> Even better to win her. So if you're new here, welcome. We are a collector hobby and review channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a cool metal tin. You can fit your little micro mallows inside. And then the contents, let's see. So we have one exclusive micro mallow plush, the pin, and 24 trading cards. Ooh, and we have some special cards. You can find holographic foil, artist sketch, founder redemption, authentic relic, and more. Ooh, that makes it fun. I, I love the different rarities, love foil cards. So that's that's exciting. Um, let's see, let's get this open. It's a cute tin, it has a lot of the OG characters on the tin, not the little monster though. I think all the tins are the same design on the outside. Okay. So, oh my goodness, the pin is of her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that little cutie. Okay, so here she is. Oh wow, they're actually really soft. Not not too firm. They feel more like a, a squish mallow because I know some of the OG micro mallows were a little bit more firm. Look at that precious baby. I love the monsters so much. I know she probably has a name, but I just I just call her monster. Okay, so we get three packs of eight cards each, so that's cool. And then she is attached to this. And how cute is our pin? So it's not cloisonné, it's more of that, I don't know if it's the enamel design, but you can feel the, the texture on there. Look at the little feet, the blushy cheeks. It's actually a really nice big pin. It has that backer as well as the embossed Squishmallows licensing on back. So nicely done, nice quality, nice size, and the fact that it matches your little Squishmallow makes it really fun and cute to collect. Okay, that is just precious. So I really hope we can find a monster card. <laughs> we shall see who's in this series. And it's cool that you get three packs. Hopefully we can find one of those those rares. That opened way easier than a Pokemon card. My, my goodness. So I don't know if there's like a card trick or anything. So we're just going to go with it. So we have a little collectible puzzle. That's cute. And then, oh, are all of them? Some of them have different foils. So here we have Connor. So they have this rainbow foil design, I think on all their cards. We have Jack, ooh, he's cute. Oh wait, these are foil, oh my goodness. I'm not sure, so it just says classic squad. So not all of them are foil. Okay, we have Chanel, the little cinnamon bun, that's adorable. We have Wendy, why is Wendy smaller? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why Wendy's smaller but she's a cute little frog. Then we have Yali. She's the little Yeti. Oh, they released one at Five Below for the holiday season, so she's also a foil card. And then we have Grant, who that has a cool like prism checkered foil. And then we have Cameron and Sam. So we have four different hollow designs out of that pack and what's cool is that they have their little story on the back of each card. So that would make for a nice little collection. Then we have pack number two. So we have another puzzle card. Oh, that's cool because it's a photograph of, of Squishmallows in a bin, which we've seen so many times on toy hunts. Then we have Ponderosa. So she's that star foil pattern. I wonder if you get the same amount. Oh, Priscilla, that's funny. Okay, so I 
just got this for Mr. Birdlove as a jumbo pillow because he uses them as pillows and you know, it's Mr. Birdlove. So we found it at Walgreens on a little mini vacation we went on. So that is so cute. So cute. I gotta show him that. Orin, we have a legacy, which, okay, so we got two of these ones in here. She's a little unicorn. Oh, we have a street art with Sam. Oh, that one looks cool. So it just says street art. And then we have Mila and Drew the dragon also in that pattern. So we got three of these star foil ones and a street art. So if you know anything about the rarities on these cards, feel free to let me know because again, <laughs> I, I know nothing, but I am enjoying these cards. I think they're just a cute collection, especially if you're a huge Squishmallow collector and fan. Okay, so here is our very last pack. Again, they open so nicely. And we have another puzzle piece. So I wonder if you always get a puzzle piece in these packs. And then we have Tito. He's cute. Tina. Sinclair. Oh, we've seen the avocado toast a lot at Target. For some reason, Target always has the jumbo plushie of him. Oh, we have another little small one. Um, and that's Raya. She's one of the Yeti monsters. Babs. That's cute. Now that one I remember seeing the tin set of once at Target. Then we have Tatiana, the other cool dragon that has the little hollow square foil. <gasps> ah, and Benny. Okay, so we found a monster. <laughs> cute Benny. Here's another look at everything we opened from our Squishmallow collector's tin. Feel free to let me know which were some of your favorite items. As for me, the star of the show are the little monster plush and then the pin, but it's like an added bonus to get so many card packs to open. I think they're really fun. We did not get any doubles, which is really cool. And you know, you get a nice variety of foils. Like there won't be a pack I don't think that you don't get a foil. So that's kind of cool. And it's just nice trip down memory lane at this point to see some of the older Squishmallow arts and characters on card form. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.